Mark Emanuel, age unknown. Like Marco Humas. Right. Well, we know how old Marco, Marco finally caught to him, but uh, Mark Emanuel at 6'3 and 246 pounds is a big guy. He looks serious. He's got a Boss Root t-shirt. He better be. Well, Mark Emanuel has got to have his hands full because Valentine Overeem is on a mission, and that mission is to get a win because he's coming off three straight losses, all, all in the Pride Fighting Championships over in Japan, probably the largest, in some say the premier mixed martial arts event in the world. He lost to Gary Goodrich, Oswario uh, Silva from the Shootbox Academy, and last week he lost to Igor Bochancho. And his last two fights he lost on submission. Which was very strange, but then no one expected, especially his fight against Igor Bochancho. Last time I saw Valentine, the Python over him in the, in the ring was in this ring one year ago where he beat down the very tough Ian Freeman from England. And he just destroyed him. He pushed him under the ropes and started kneeing his head. And the referee stopped the fight. Now, Mr. Mark Emmanuel. So I think the point is this, Valentine Overy may have had bad luck traveling and fighting, but you go into his hometown, he's ready to do anything to win. You better be prepared. So Emmanuel emotionally has got a lot to prove because Valentine Overy is in like a do or die situation, he's in front of the hometown crowd. His brother won earlier. So he's going to want to probably duplicate that or go beyond that. So because Mark Emanuel is with the Boss Root and Academy. Yes. But nonetheless, the thing that makes things even more complicated is Valentine Overeem is trained by your Thai boxing coach in Core Hammers. So you've got a stake in both these fighters. Yes, I got a stake in both these fighters. So and, that makes uh, you neutral, technically. I'm going to be so neutral. I'm not going to be talking a lot. You know, I'm going to just yeah, say right. what I see. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm going to well, do. Boss, you always tell it like it is, no matter what. So here we go. Do we think it's going to go standing or to the ground? I think that Valentine's right going to stand up. Oh, good stand. low kick. Good jab. And it caught Mark napping. I don't know. Mark is a little slow. Yeah, he's a judo from uh, judo from, from France, and he's good in judo. He's got to take his fight to the ground. You don't want to strike yeah. with the now, python. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. Because the python, right now, all he has, I, I, I'd punch him in the head right now. Right straight. Low kick and then punch him in the face, and he's doing just that. I think the judo man might be thinking submission because of his uh, uh, Valentine's last couple of fights. Valentine is blasting away in that classic core hammers left jab right low kick situation, of which you know so well, boss. There's, there's the right hand, but it didn't land clean. Almost a left uppercut. That was it. Almost. And, almost. Oh, and that was a hit. It went all bleeding on the right side of top of his head. Oh no! This is a bad position for Mark Emanuel. He doesn't want to keep his head down like that, he gets knee right in the head, could end the fight with one shot. Valentine almost going for the high kick there. Yeah, I hear his corner screaming it, left, left uh, a right high kick to the head. Yeah, because uh, Mark Emanuel's left hand is dangerously low on the outside. I think that, oh, that, it was Valentine that threw the knee and then landed on his back. He's a solid individual. I, I, think, I think Valentine's a little tense right He's got to relax a little bit because he could, he could win this fight if he just picks from the outside, but he's pushing the action a little bit too much, and that's going to have an effect on his cardiovascular. There's the right high kick, but it wasn't clean. 
It's almost a crescent kick. Left, right hoop. Oh, he got poked in the eye. Oh, no. Oh, it's too bad because right when he had things so under control, it looked like. Apparently, that's one of the problems. You can throw a jab like the Omaha. I think so, yeah. your hands out with the fingers out. You can accidentally hit. I'm sure that Mark Emanuel didn't do that on purpose. But Valentine on a mission with that left right combination, the right low kick again. There's a right hand by Emanuel. Emanuel is going to be real relaxed, but very solid. Going to the body there. Left stick jab. Oh, oh what a good oh. right low kick! Valentine's got to stay out of the clinch. He's got to get out of there. He's got to stay on the outside. A few more low kicks, and we'll, we'll do the trick. I think. Oh, he's going to stop with the low kicks, boss. Yes. Oh, the right hand, just like you said, Mr. Root. Yeah, it's going to. He's going to stop with the low kicks. I think so. I think what Valentine should do. Oh! Same thing there. Left jab. Yep. Left jab. Yep. We have a momentary delay. It would seem to me that Valentine has got this fight totally in the bag. In the bag. All he needs to do is go in there and throw a lot of light punches and then load up with a low kick. That's light it. punches and load up with a low kick. Get him thinking that top and drop the bottom. A few more low kicks and it's going to be over. He's got to take it out. Emmanuel seems to be getting emotional in the corner. He can't stand on his leg. He's, in, he's even limping. He's getting a, uh, an eight count as a result. I guess the... Uh, had a little bit too much time out there. Valentine looking just like a python. And the doctor looking at the eye. This benefits Valentine because all the energy he threw out, he can recuperate from and come back fresh. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a no win situation right here. This Valentine's going to pick the shots now. I hear the score of Paramus saying, just move around and drop the right low kick. Exactly the same thing that you said, Stephen. And that will finish the fight. Yeah, because I think he's got to set, he's got to go top bottom. He's got to set up the punches. That way, if he just shows him the low kick, he's going to check it. Maybe. See, there it is. He goes top, and then bottom. He goes punch to the head. Oh, jump double knee there. Shades of Gilbert Ivo, but now he's in suplex position. And this over the shoulder suplex. What a move, but what energy did that take? Oh, what a right low kick. It's going to be a TKO from low kicks. You can see it in the face of Mark Emanuel. He wants out when those kicks come. There oh, it is, there right on the knee. He needs the clinch. He's just, he's confused at this moment. He's wide open for a right hand. Wide open for a right hand. Or a wide kick to the head. <laughs> Valentine. Just picking his shots. He's going to slay the giant here. The giant man is ready to quit in a bad position. He's needed oh, the head. He should throw the low kick right here. There it is. The fight is almost over. Okay. The fight looks almost oh. over. It's going to be an eight count. I don't think. Oh, oh, he's not going to get up. He's not going to get up. Look at his leg. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I guess if someone predicted that one, and they they would be right, because he went out there and did exactly what his corner man, Corham, said. Chop, chop, chop. And there it is. Uh, Emmanuel just didn't know what to do. He, he, he had run out of options. He was almost in the standing fetal position here. Now he's coming with the right low kicks. They're shouting in the corner. Low kick! 
That was the first one. He almost only had to do was fall forward and oh. try to connect with Valentine. That, that, just a little bit short of an execution with low kicks. Wow. We get along with Divisi. Divisi Live. Give me a pass. That was really good. This needs a lot of us, isn't it? Really? No, it's not there. Not there, not there. Dan zie je dit, we hebben het allemaal gezien. De winnaar van het einde. His mission was to set out and get a win and get one convincingly he did against Mark Emanuel, age unknown. Valentine the Python, Wolverine. And it looks like some blood was spilled on our note paper here. Yeah. And uh, now I think I'm going to go get a word with Mr. Overeem. Jurgen, dankjewel voor de bezigheid. Wij zien elkaar weer. De gigantische opgewachte reacties voor de boord. Een echte feest voor jullie hebben al. Jurgen, ah, tot de volgende keer. Namens Evert van Futurola, Gijk en hij, de prijzenaar. Dat wil ik jullie al even horen. Voor de. Doe je een voorzicht voor de Voor de bal als een gutte! I'm here with Valentine the Python over him. That was a textbook core hammers performance. How do you think he liked it? I think he was uh, pretty pleased. I listened to the instructions. I did what we trained for, and that resulted in the uh, in, uh, in the winning the match. You just can't lose in Holland, can't you? I try hard not to lose in front of my t home crowd. So what's next for you? Uh, this time I heard there was a pride in Hawaii and I want to train, have a good preparation. So not so many contests, but just a better preparation for a contest. Valentine, it's always a pleasure to see you work, especially in that ring. It's so, it's so exciting here in Holland, you know what I mean? I love Holland. What's with the purists? So the, so the people of your tongue, come on. The thing is, this ring is smaller, and they took the knees out, so that was kind of a handicap. But uh, it's okay. Valentine Overeem. Thanks a lot.